If you're a Jew living anywhere other than Israel right now, please listen up. Israel is facing the greatest threat in its 75-year history. This is not just another crisis. We are literally fighting for our survival, not just as a democracy, but as the homeland for the entire Jewish people. The ground is burning beneath our feet. If you don't see it yet, I'm not sure you fully understand what's happening in Israel right now. Not because you're thick or indifferent or easily misled, but because what is happening in Israel is unprecedented and almost impossible to imagine from afar. The judicial coup is not about improving Israel's justice system. This is an attempt by extreme religious nationalists to gut Israeli democracy by attacking its gatekeepers. Let's break it down. In Israel, the Prime Minister controls the executive branch and via the coalition appoints the Speaker of the Knesset, thus controlling the legislative branch. Now the Prime Minister would like to appoint the members of the Supreme Court and the head of the judicial branch, effectively merging three branches into a single one. If you've heard this crisis minimized via comparison between the Israeli and the American legal systems, recognize the cherry picking for what it is an attempt to disinform. Judges in the U.S. are appointed by politicians, yes. However, in the U.S., the president is elected separately from Congress, the legislative is bicameral, there is a constitution and a bill of rights, and it's a federal system. So that citizens' basic rights are protected by law regardless of the composition of the court. Do you know how many of those checks and balances we have in Israel? Um, none. If this coup succeeds, laws eliminating our most basic rights could be approved by a simple majority of 61. The 150 plus proposed bills would force gender segregation, send women to sit at the back of the bus, strip rights for minorities, LGBTQ, and the disadvantaged. Without an independent court, ultra-Orthodox rabbis will adjudicate marriage, adoption, divorce, immigration, education. They will determine who is a Jew, and they will not recognize your children and grandchildren as Jewish. Imagine a newly elected American government deciding to merge church and state, abolish the First Amendment, and alter the Second Amendment to create armed militias for government ministers. Insane? Well, the Israeli government just approved the creation of armed militias under the command of Itamar Ben-Gvir, an extremist, racist, and a convicted felon. This has nothing to do with protecting us. The IDF, the police, Shin Bet, the Mossad have all had us covered for 75 years. These are revolutionary guards, and their sole purpose is to intimidate us. Unbelievable? Well, how about this? In the middle of the month of Ramadan, Netanyahu fired Minister of Defense Gallant for doing his job and warning that the judicial coup would significantly hurt Israel's ability to defend itself. Oh, he took it back, Bibi. After hundreds of thousands of Israelis hit the streets that very night within minutes of the news breaking. But this reckless act of vengeance was performed by a Prime Minister currently on trial for three severe counts of fraudulence, bribery, and breach of trust, who has repeatedly demonstrated that he will stop at nothing and stoop to anything to avoid facing justice. The ground is burning beneath our feet. And not just here. A dictatorship in Israel would put Jewish communities abroad at immediate risk making them a target of increased anti-Semitism. Anti-Semites will say, this proves them right. So you see, the judicial coup is not an internal Israeli matter. This is about shaping the future and the story of the Jewish people. Israel is the glue that's kept us together for millennia, our homeland. A safe haven for a people who know just how dangerous the world can be for a people without a home. We have a home. And its ground is burning. But we're putting up a hell of a fight. 
Hundreds of thousands of Israelis have been hitting the streets all over the country, first once a week, then twice a week, now every single day. 750,000 Israelis. That's like 20 million Americans hitting the streets week after week for months. This is a tenacious, resilient, and strictly nonviolent struggle led by countless people who have put their entire lives aside so that we may have lives to come back to. Our struggle for a free and democratic Israel has had some amazing achievements. But the danger from this government remains dire and imminent. We saw what happened in Poland. We're not going to let it happen here. For most of its 75-year history, diaspora Jews have supported Israel by supporting its government. It hasn't been easy. We've been through seven wars. But no war is as dangerous as a government attacking its own people. When that happens, it's time to support the people. We are your people. We are your nation. And we need you fully by our side. We need you to stay informed. There's tons of information being produced daily in English by reliable sources. Share this information. Make your voice heard. Speak up in your community. Find a support rally and join it. Start your own protest. We need you to get international leadership involved in stopping the coup. Write your congressperson and tell them you expect them to support democracy in Israel. Do the same with your federation representative. Write APAC and tell them they have a duty to support democracy in Israel so that the unique relationship between the U.S. and Israel based on shared values will not be lost. If you can, we need you to give. This is a costly fight and the end is nowhere in sight. There are numerous NGOs who need your support and donations right now because the ground is burning beneath our feet. Join the fight for liberty and democracy in Israel. Join today and do everything you can. History is being written now. And the next page is the one our children and grandchildren will live on.